All right, let's clip into our first anchor point. Go over our box. We don't need the entire length of our rope, so I'm gonna secure this hank by twisting in an underhand loop and throwing it on top. We'll pull that tight, and then I'll just do that one more time. There we go. Let's just throw that off to the side. We'll tie these two in by forming a bite, thread it through, go all the way around, and pull it tight. So here's where the magic happens. I'm gonna clip in once, clip in twice, and now I formed a black wall hitch and I can pull in my tension and I'll keep every bit that I put in. As you add tension to the rope, it slips on top of itself and that same pressure holds it in place. Now I just pull it back in to pop it free. This video was inspired by Sean E. He reached out to me on Instagram and asked about tying a ladder so that it doesn't slip while it's in use. Sean uses an extension ladder and when he climbs on it, it flexes. So he's looking for a way to add the flex to the ladder before he climbs on it so it's less prone to slipping. There is a rope only method to doing this, but since he's using it on a daily basis, it would wear things out pretty quickly. So this is a method to extend the life of his rope. Now I don't have an extension ladder and a telephone pole, but I do have a swing set and a regular ladder. So we're just gonna have to use our imagination here. All right, here we are again. Instead of a truck bed, we're using a ladder. We're gonna link everything in the same way. There we go. Grab our rope, go once, twice, pull in our tension. To make sure that this stays put, we're gonna pull in a couple half hitches. There we go. And that'll work just fine. You can pull in as much tension as you want. When we're done, we'll take our half hitches out and we'll run our rope back through the gate and pop it free.